Huawei has officially rolled out the Harmony OS Next public beta, marking a massive milestone in the evolution of its operating system. For months, tech enthusiasts and developers have been eagerly anticipating this release, and now, October 8 has arrived, allowing general users to finally get their hands on this groundbreaking software. But what does this mean for Huawei users, and why is Harmony OS Next such a game changer? Let's break it all down. Until now, Harmony OS Next was only available to a small group of developers and early testers, giving Huawei time to fine-tune the experience based on expert feedback. But with the public beta now open, Huawei is inviting regular users to explore the latest iteration of its homegrown OS, signaling that the company is inching closer to a stable release for the masses. This shift isn't just about letting more people in. It's about demonstrating Huawei's confidence in its software and taking a crucial step toward an ecosystem independent of Android. The first batch of supported devices includes Huawei's flagship models, such as the Mate 60 series, the foldable Mate X5, and the high-performance MatePad Pro 13.2. If you own one of these devices, you're in luck. The bigot is available for you right now. Simply open the My Huawei app, navigate to the upgrade section, and sign up for the trial. No waiting in line, no phase rollouts, just an instant gateway to Harmony OS Next. Unfortunately, some devices like the Pura 70 and Pocket 2 are still on the closed beta list, but Huawei has assured users that support will expand soon. Now let's talk about what makes this update so exciting. Harmony OS Next is not just another incremental upgrade. It represents a bold step toward Huawei's complete independence from Android. With a sleek new interface, smoother animations, and a reworked app ecosystem, this OS promises to deliver a faster, more intuitive experience. The new native Harmony OS apps have been completely redesigned to take full advantage of Huawei's hardware, ensuring better efficiency and performance across the board. But before you jump in, there are a few things to consider. Since this is still a beta, expect some bugs and occasional hiccups. To avoid losing any important data, it's crucial to back up your files before installing the update. Also, third-party app compatibility is still a work in progress. While major apps are being optimized, some may not function properly right away. This is a key phase for Huawei, as the company works to ensure a smooth transition for users moving away from Android-based solutions. Beyond the software update itself, Huawei is facing bigger challenges in the global tech landscape. The U.S. government continues to tighten restrictions, making it increasingly difficult for Huawei to source advanced chips and other critical components. In a major development, the U.S. has instructed companies like TSMC, Intel, and Samsung to halt the supply of high-end chipsets to China, creating a significant hurdle for Huawei's ambitions. To make matters worse, Washington has expanded its entity list, adding more Chinese firms suspected of aiding Huawei's chip production. These moves could slow down Huawei's progress in the semiconductor space, raising questions about its ability to develop cutting-edge hardware without relying on external suppliers. Despite these challenges, Huawei has proven to be incredibly resilient. The company has made significant strides in chip manufacturing and software development, pushing forward with its own solutions to reduce reliance on Western technology. Harmony OS Next is a testament to this determination. By investing heavily in its ecosystem, Huawei is not only ensuring its survival, but also laying the foundation for a future where it stands as a global competitor without the need for Google services or American-made chipsets. For users, this means an exciting new experience with Harmony OS Next, but also a transition period that requires patience. Some apps may take time to be fully optimized and certain services might need alternative solutions. However, Huawei's rapid software development suggests that these hurdles won't last long. The real question is whether Harmony OS can become a true alternative to Android and iOS in the long run. With a growing user base, expanding app support, and an OS designed from the ground up to work seamlessly, with Huawei's hardware, the future looks promising. If you own a Mate 60, Mate X5, or MatePad Pro 13.2, now is the time to explore Harmony OS next and experience the future of Huawei's ecosystem. Simply sign up through the My Huawei app and get ready to dive into a world of innovation. As always, stay tuned for more updates on Huawei's journey and let us know in the comments. Do you think Harmony OS Next has what it takes to compete with Android and iOS?